If you guys are looking for super cheap and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got 24-7 support. Guys, don't waste your money on packs. Hit up the sponsor. Use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off of your entire order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the best players shoes, the 62 to 81 overall power pass in Madden 21. Now, if you guys don't already know, this is the power pass you do get for leveling up. Now, after the first two levels... I don't know the exact level because obviously I'm only level 3. I've been locked out of Madden for like a day now, so I haven't been able to actually do my level ups, but you get it super early on, and pretty much all you gotta do is you get the power pass. It essentially replaces an elite card. Now, I'll explain how you use power passes in just a second, but before we get into today's video, guys, if you're already new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys, and join the family. Guys, we're grinding to 22k, we're growing really fast again, so let's keep going. My goal is to hit 30k by end of September, early. No, okay. Let me be more realistic. Early October? I think that's fair. But anyways, make sure to smash the like button as well for each one of you guys that understands what a power pass is today, didn't know what a power pass was, or didn't know who to use it on. Make sure you like that video if this has helped you guys out. Now let's get into this. So, a power player, for all you guys who don't know, is the purple card. And what they do is they allow you to put in your purple card and like pretty much evolve it like an evolution card. And you toss the elite in. You actually are able to expand the stats of that card beyond what it was. And then put abilities and so on and so forth on it. So, this power pass essentially allows you to uh, cross out there early. So let's say you're going to power up Tog early. Now you get the power of Tog early, you get into an 80 overall. Now to complete his power up, you got to buy his elite and put him in. So the thing is with this, you can put the power pass in instead and go on ahead and get Tog early to 90, 82 overall for free without actually having to buy the card. So it's very, very useful. Power passes are one of the most loved things in the Madden community in terms of free things that we do get. So for today's episode, it's going to be the 80, all the way up to 81 overall. So pretty much you're going to be using it on 80 to 81 overalls. Now you're going to want to be doing this properly. Now remember, power-ups last all year. So you don't always want to do a power-up that's going to be very dead. Like let's say for me, right here, for me, a dead power-up would be Le'Veon Bell. It may be fun today. Trust me, Le'Veon Bell is not going to be fun all year. He's always too slow. So I'm going to be doing guys that I think could be really good all year, or at least could be super dominant right now. It has to be one or the other. So coming out first on the list, guys, no specific order is going to be Raheem Monster. Why is Monster on my list? Simple. He's going to be super dominant today. If you use the power pass in him, you'll get him for a super cheap price, and he's going to have an 87 speed to start the year off. Now, not every guy in Madden, like Christian McCaffrey and Derrick Henry, Dalvin Cook, and Saquon Barkley, all below 85 or below speeds. So he's going to have a plus three to plus two speed on all of them, plus the Excel, plus the Agile carrying. Obviously, that's not as good as them. But he's going to be way faster in the open field he's going to break way more runs and at this stage in the game when defense is kind of broken pursuit angles probably aren't the hottest people aren't good at using just yet you're going to make people look silly and you're going to be able to take advantage of that speed Another specific aspect of why he's nice is because he's going to be one of those guys who has a high speed all year you can just tell by the first few days who's going to have the speeds all year he's going to be ahead in speed now will he get a lot of cards it all depends on how the 49ers use him if the 49ers use him enough he will get team of the week cards he will get promo cards he will get fun cards so that could keep him in contention for high overall speed cards all year. Also, guys, he does have the potential for some bigger promos throughout the year. That's the other beauty of guys who are kind of fast. He has the potential to be thrown into a few cool promos. And the beauty of a card like him is that he, the next card he gets will be probably like an 88 speed, 89, or even 90 speed. Which does mean if he gets his 90, if he gets even like an 88 or 90, 80, 88 or 89 speed in his next card, he will be hitting the 90 threshold with power up and if that's the point if it's by the point we start using sprinter more you can even get him up to like a 91 92 speed by that point so that is what's cool about the potential of raheem monster now he could get a scary fast all-around halloween for the halloween promo a lot of potential with him now right now he's a short-term card but the beauty of him he has the potential to become a longer term card do i think he'll be an all-year running back by no means but if he ends up being like a super fast card around halloween he's one of the fastest running backs in the game and his stats are good why not rock with him you know, you know what I mean? And he's in the Niners, which means they will probably get a lot of love all year. I'm pretty high on Monster in terms of Madden right now. Longer term, you never really know, but good looking card. Great way to use your power pass. And guys, quick advice. Make sure to go ahead when you guys use your power passes to write down on your phone or like a piece of paper notepad where you put them. Because later in the year, you're going to want these cards back. Like, for instance, let's say um, you didn't use it on Monster. Around Halloween, Monster gets a 93 overall, and he's the best running back in the game or something. You're going to go back and you're going to power him up now, right? This 81 could go for like 70k because people aren't going to, people aren't going to want to, people, everyone's going to be doing it. People don't want to spend the money, so everyone's going to be using their power pass. And then if they don't, and if they can't use their power pass, they're going to be buying him. So you're going to want to use your power pass. You're going to go back and be like, where did I put him? And you're going to have to start powering down a bunch of different people to find out and lose a lot of training. Make sure you write it down. Now, do I think he'll be your running back all year? Not by any means, but he'll be dominant today. 
Next on the list, we got Denzel Ward, 81 overall cornerback. Now, why is Denzel Ward in the list? Again, now this guy isn't so much like Mosto. He's, gonna, he's not just going to be today. He's going to be probably all year. I had Denzel Ward powered up my team most of the year last year. Will he go to the last day? Maybe not. But Denzel Ward typically gets really good cards at random times. Uh, well, not random times, but times where you're going to be like, okay, I could use this. Like, you weren't expecting it, but it's going to be great. Uh, the stats they give him. So he'll have an elite now. He may get one more card in the next month, maybe like even like a month superstar or just a team of the week. But his next big card that we can be probably looking out for is going to be probably on the Halloween promo. Last year, Denzel Ward was a good elite. People powered him up. And then maybe I'll say like a few people powered him up. Then October came, Halloween promo came. He got a scary fast, I believe. And he had like, he was like the fastest cornerback in Madden. Everyone powered him up. He was right there with like Deion Sanders. So I'm going to get him now. He has, and the thing with him is he's not just going to be good later, he's good now. Like, he's going to have an 89 speed at cornerback, going to be a dominant cornerback, and then his next upgrade is only going to get better. And he's one of the more expensive base leads as it is. Next on the list is Jalen Smith. Now, I know Xerxes is going to like this one, and he probably put him on his list as well. Jalen Smith is one of the best guys to power up specifically right now for a few reasons. First off, he's one of the better user linebackers. Now, his speed doesn't look too right on this card, which is what I want to get to here. So, this is not the Jalen Smith on my list. The Jalen Smith on my list is going to be the 85 overall now you're probably wondering how does that work easy so the jalen smith 85 overall that you get from the nfl rival solos which you guys want to go play after you watch this video you're going to be able to pick one of three players at the end you're going to be getting a jalen smith a ben roethlisberger or a zach Ertz. pick the jalen smith that jalen smith has an 83 speed but it gets better he also has an 87 hit power and he's power upable so what you're going to want to do here you're going to want to get the jalen smith power up you're going to power him up to the 80 overall Toss your power pass in for Jalen Smith, and now you're going to have an 82 overall Jalen Smith. Finish the rival solos, toss in the 85, and now pretty much with this pass, you got yourself all the way up to an 86 Jalen Smith middle linebacker for damn near the same price as what you would have paid for just the 81 itself. So I think that is a great value. Now you're going to have a user linebacker with an 84 speed and 88 hit power, and he's going to be insane. He's going to be one of the best user linebackers. He's 6'2", and you're going to get all the way up to an 86 using a pass that should get you an 81 to an 82. So in my opinion, that is a that's a dub right there in itself. Do not sleep on the Jalen Smith. Go ahead, get yourself your 86 linebacker. Go play the solos. Do all the steps I told you guys, and you're going to have a great linebacker. Next on the list, we got Roquan Smith. Roquan Smith, just like a Devin Bush, is one of those guys who have a fast linebacker user all year. Now, his base elite card has an 82. So, you guys, we're not going to go do the Jalen Smith like I just said. Roquan Smith is a decent substitute. You can go ahead and get him. 82 speed. 80 power now remember when you do use the power pass you get them plus one overall so he's going to have an 83 speed which is close enough to the jalen smith while also maintaining 81 hit power and maybe being slightly cheaper and then you can use your rivals um card on like a zach Ertz instead or ben roethlisberger i still think the jalen smith is your best route but roquan smith is still another nice user linebacker and the thing with roquan smith is he's going to be an all-year card i imagine he will get plenty of cards this year that could be up there for the better user cards next on the list we got dante jackson now dante jackson is just very simple for two reasons he's a today card and a tomorrow card for today he's going to have a 89 speed don't forget he's powered up he's going to have a 90 speed 87 excel 87 agility 90 jumping he practically looks like a running back he would be the most dominant running back if you put him on offense so pretty much he's going to be one of the fast cornerbacks he's one of the few guys who will be able to stop tyree kill um catch up to barry sanders stop warwick dunn he's gonna be one of those guys so you're gonna want him on the squad regardless of his overall regardless of his stats he has the speed to play now the thing with him also is that beyond even just powering him up he's gonna be really expensive probably and one of the more expensive bases because of his speed second dante jackson's a card that gets speed all year so like he might get a team of the week card he might get like a scary fast card the next card he gets will be one of the fastest cornerbacks again so you want to kind of like it's like keeping up with the jones kind of thing like he's going to be one of those guys you can keep up speed wise to keep up with people and eventually his stats will come up with it so he'll be a much better coverage corner this is about it for my list now one honorable mention i did want to throw out there was aaron waller almost said his name wrong and because he are currently see i like evan ingram i like in my opinion the best time is jonu smith but i can't exactly make a power pass video on jonu smith because he's a team builder but for the long-term outlook kittle and darren waller are great now darren waller is actually faster than kittle right now so Darren Waller is going to be one of the fastest tight ends all year, him and Engram. So I recommend Darren Waller, potentially, if you want a good tight end, get him, power pass him. He's going to be pretty fast. He's going to have like an 82 speed set the year. Although Jones is better right now. Darren Waller has longer term outlook, but that's why he's not on the list specifically, which is not a real mention. But guys, about it for the video. If you did get any use out of power pass info, how to use them, who to pick, and how these pretty much just work, go on ahead and make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel, guys. Subbing means a lot.
liking means a lot too for all you guys watching that's about it guys sub comment like join the family thank you guys so much for watching make sure to turn those notifications bells to get notified every time another banger is posted but guys that's about it for the video enjoy the rest of your day i'm out peace